when we click on one of our photos and type something into the comment box and hit enter, it just refreshes the page. And that's because this form has not yet been hooked up to anything. So let's go back to our comments component right here. And we are going to add a submit handler to this actual form. So let's say on or not on click on submit because that's the event we're listening to equals this dot handle submit. And that what that's going to do is it's going to run a function called handle submit. And we haven't yet made that uh, whenever it runs. So let's go and create the handle submit function. And you'll know that when you submit uh, any sort of event, especially the form submit, it passes you the event. And we can use event.prevent default. And what that does is it will stop the page from refreshing. So I'm going to give that a save and try it once more here. So Wes, testing one, one, two, three. And now when I hit enter, I'm hitting enter over and over again. Nothing happens because the default form, which is submitting. So now we have to do our own little thing. So let's just say console log submitting the form. And I'm going to open up my console just to make sure that that is running. Clear out this junk here. There we go. Every time I hit enter, it's submitting the actual form. So what we need to do is get the text out of these inputs here. And that's what we put the refs on these form elements for. Because when you want to actually reference a, a DOM element, and generally in React, you don't reference DOM elements. You just change the data, and React will update uh, the DOM for you. But when you actually need to get data out of it, one way you can do that is with a ref. So because I put a ref and a ref on here, we can actually say uh, console log this dot refs because this is the comments component and refs is going to be populated with all of the things that we put refs on. So author comment and the actual form itself. So these are just HTML inputs in which we can grab the value from it. So let's create three variables. What kind of information do we need here? First of all, we need this ID right here where that information comes uh, from the URL. So this dot props dot params dot post ID. Or if we want to use ES6 destructuring, we can say const post ID equals dot props dot params. And that will create a variable called post ID. Then we're going to make one called author and one called comment. So I'm going to say author equals this dot refs dot author. And I'm not going to stop there because that's the actual entire HTML element. What I want is whatever the user typed into that. And because it's just an HTML element, we can just call dot value on it and it will work. Same goes for the comment right there. So now I've got all three of these things that I want here. I'm going to go console log them out and I'm going to submit clear my console. So I've got a problem here. It's telling me I cannot get post ID of undefined. I actually don't know what it is, but it's helpful for me to step through my debugging process just to show you how I would tackle this. So cannot read post ID of undefined. And that looks like we are uh, looking for post ID of param. So I'm wondering, does this component not have the params. So the way I check is if I go to the react console, we are in the comments component right here. And we clearly do not have uh, any of the params that got passed down to it. So uh, what we can do is go back to here and we never pass along any of uh, the props. So I'm just going to pass them along or you could just pass along the ones that you actually needed. So save that. Now, when I, I think now when I submit this, it should show me, there we go. That's the ID, that's the name or the author, and that's the actual comment that the person wrote. Great. So I'm console logging. Now, what do I actually do with this information now that I have it? Well, uh, what are we using to update our state? We're using a reducer to update our state. So let's go to the comments reducer right here. And let's go to our action creators right here. And this is the actual function that we need to run because it's going to create an action and it's going to dispatch the actual action. So uh, it requires the post ID, which is the first item, the author and the comment. So we know that we have access to that odd add comment function inside of here. Once more, let's open up the react. You see there's the add comment. So it would be this dot props 
the add comment, and then you pass it the post ID, the author, and the comment. And that should be it and in terms of handling it here. We can head on over to our action creator here, console log, firing, or let's say dispatch. We'll use the language that React uses. Wes, testing, dispatching, add comment, good. So it is running and then that gets dispatched and we can go to our comments reducer because now our reducer is going to be handling. Right now it's just returning state, but we want to actually update that. Okay.